Hi, and welcome to Honesty's channel. Thanks for joining me on my week 31 of my pregnancy. We're now 31 weeks in our tri third trimester, and um, we just have about eight to nine weeks to go. If you've been following me, you heard last week that I met with my surgeon and that we are going to be having the scheduled C-section cesarean for the, um, the week of the 20th in October. So October 20th is our daughter's birthday and she will be turning five. So my surgery is either going to be between the 21st and the 24th of um, the end of October because the due date for our baby is October 25th and they are trying to get in within that four day bracket. So in between our children's birthdays and hopefully we'll get the 21st. I'm really hoping, but I still haven't heard anything back from the surgeon. She put in a request that I wanted the 21st or the 24th rather than the 21st, but I'm still waiting to hear back from her um, colleagues. So hopefully I get a call soon. In that way, I at least know when to go into the hospital for surgery. When you do go in for a cesarean, you have to go in pretty early um, since you are fasting from 12 o'clock midnight until you go into the hospital. And then it depends if there's anyone who has like an emergency C-section before you and you might have to wait a little longer. I felt like I had to wait a couple hours when I did my C-section with my daughter, Ariana. So now with her brother, Henry, um, they're saying hopefully that won't happen again and I'll be able to do it sooner. So if we do get the 21st, I should be able to be at the hospital by six in the morning and it will only take about 40 minutes to get everything prepared to have me into the operating room. The operating room is only going to take about 20 minutes to a half an hour and it's all going to be really quick. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to get the spinal tap which is a little stronger than an epidural but it's pretty much the same thing just in a different place in your spine. So I had that as well with my daughter and um, I'm looking forward to it. That way you're pretty much numb from your chest all the way down and I won't feel much of anything unless it's just like a little bit of pressure. My husband is going to be with me in the operating room so he'll probably be um, the first to hold the baby while they're stitching me up. They no longer use staples at my hospital. They're going to be doing stitches. Um, which I was a little nervous about, but when I brought it up with my doctor and my husband, they both agreed that the stitches wouldn't have to be removed and they just like um, stay in there versus staples. They do have to remove them after a while, a couple days. So that's all good. Let's jump in into my 31st week of my pregnancy with our second child. It's a boy. His name is Henry Joseph Ralston, and so this week, the baby is about the size of a coconut. Like, we're talking a real large coconut, just like, not like a small one, but a pretty good size. Um, he's 16 and one-fourth inches, around 16 to 18 inches, different um, physicians and baby websites say different things. I use Baby Center to track all of my um, updates. So babycenter.com is a good one, but there's others that you can use. So our son's now about three and one fourth pounds, a little over three pounds. And as you may know, once you're in like your 30 weeks, the baby's going to be gaining about a pound, um, a pound and a half per like every couple weeks. So hopefully by the time the due date is, he will be about seven pounds. I feel like seven pounds is a healthy size for a child. Myself and my husband both were like smaller babies, but our daughter was seven pounds, five ounces. So 
I'm pretty sure our son's going to be around the same weight that she was. Healthy, happy baby. And then when we did do our 3D last ultrasound, that was, gosh, a couple weeks ago, like maybe a month, month and a half ago when we did that, uh, his brain and the size circumference of his skull and all of his organs were like perfect size. There's no problems at all. And um, so we already know from the ultrasounds that he is a pretty good sized baby and there's nothing to worry there. So I'm pretty sure he's going to be um, a plump baby. Now, we only have about eight to nine weeks to go. Since it is a scheduled C-section, we're going to meet him a little earlier, just a couple days earlier than the due date. We are officially in our seventh month. So Henry is plumping up in preparation to meet the outside world. He also has all five of his senses. We're talking hearing, taste, smell, touch, all of the senses. Um, and he can hear our voices, the different tones of our voices. He knows when mommy's talking, daddy's talking. He's able to smell me through the amniotic fluid. So when he does come out into this world and we do the first um, skin to skin touch, when I hold him in the hospital, he'll be able to already know my scent and um, be able to smell me even better and say, oh, that's mommy. And um, skin to skin is very important, not only for mothers, but for fathers as well. So just um, to have that contact with your baby and hold them close, even if you're not breastfeeding. I'm not going to be breastfeeding. Uh, some symptoms during 30 to 31 weeks starting, you might like start to leak breast milk or colostrum. But uh, I don't produce breast milk or colostrum. I haven't before with my daughter and I really don't think it's going to happen with my son. So um, unfortunately, I'm not able to breastfeed, but when I tried to breastfeed before and I wasn't able to get the colostrum out, it was really, really, really painful. And it's just better for me to give formula to our children. Um, that way they are able to eat right away and then mommy's not dealing with like scabbing and bleeding nipples and using the pumps and doing everything I can and still like having no colostrum or milk come out whatsoever. So it's just going to be much easier to do the formula. My mother um, gave me formula when she was pregnant because she is taking um, medications that she couldn't breastfeed. So I wasn't getting the medication that she is taking, um, along with other issues that my mom had when she was pregnant. She had preeclampsia and some other things. So along with that, you may be feeling a little like hormonal or depressed during your 31 weeks. Um, I haven't been like really hormonal or that much depressed. I felt like really drained and there was a time maybe yesterday or the day before where I wasn't so much like depressed, but I wasn't very happy either later in the day. We had a good day shopping and everything, my daughter and I, while her father was at work. Um, but she was getting a little cranky and I was tired, so I just felt emotionally drained. And I came home for a couple hours before I had to pick up my husband and just laid in bed. And yeah, but I haven't like cried a lot during this pregnancy or anything. So I'm not so sure. So some women do like have crying episodes when they're pregnant. The only time I remember when I was pregnant with my first child was I was watching Dancing with the Stars back in um, 2014 and like Janelle Parrish was dancing with Val and the dance, it was like one of their last dances and it was so beautiful 
like the way the choreography was and everything that I just started crying. And I'm like, I don't know why I'm crying. Their dance is just so beautiful. And that's pretty much um, the only time that I ever cried at a really like weird thing that people usually don't cry over. So nothing like that has happened with this pregnancy. Um, I haven't really been crying at all or like that much emotional. If I have any emotions at all, it's just kind of like being overwhelmed and stressed with everything, day-to-day -day life, dealing with um, bills and moving. So we have a lot coming up in October. It is now the end of August and we're coming into September. So we only have like a month to get all of this stuff done, a month and a half really. We have to have um, my daughter's birthday is coming up and then we have Halloween. We, and in between that, we're having the baby being born. And before all of that, we have to move um, into a different county. We're moving about four hours away and we're trying to get the property all set up for the baby. And have, we have everything ready for the nursery, but until we move into that new property, I'm not able to like put the nursery together and I'm like I'm a little stressed about it but I'm also really excited because I can't wait to like start decorating our new house and playing house getting our nursery ready and Ariana's bedroom and everything else so I'm like stressed and excited at the same time but still pretty happy um, despite all of the symptoms that I'm going through right now and we're going to jump into that very soon but let's talk a little more about baby development at 31 weeks so fattening up your baby is um, able to turn their head side to side and their arms and legs and body are beginning to plump up and fatten um, and it accumulates under their skin and all of their brain functions are like more active and the brain is just going to keep growing and growing even after the baby is born it's just just the first year they're soaking in everything just like a sponge and they're learning so much and they just like keep progressing as um, the years come but especially the first like 12 to 24, 36 months of their lives, they're just like soaking it all in. Along with, they're moving a lot. So the baby is moving a little more than it was a couple weeks ago. So you may have trouble sleeping with the kicks or doing somersaults. Now, Henry's movements inside my tummy don't really keep me up at night. What keeps me up at night is like, my heart burning and having to constantly urinate but that's pretty much it and it's been normal the whole pregnancy as well as having like severe morning sickness not all women have morning sickness after their first trimester but i have had morning sickness throughout all of my trimesters and especially um this third trimester has been really hard on me. I was pregnant with my daughter and had the same thing, just like constant drooling and um, saliva buildup, as well as morning sickness until the day I gave birth to her. So it's pretty much going to be the same thing with her brother. And I'm able to um, just deal with that until the end of the pregnancy. And hopefully after the pregnancy, I will feel a whole lot better. Um, my husband's gonna take his paternity family leave soon, hopefully sooner than later, and then he will be able to help me after the surgery where I won't be able to bend down and pick up anything. He's going to be doing the cooking, cleaning, driving, and really helping with our daughter. So I'm able to like hold the baby, bond with him, feed him, and um, 
do what I need to do as the mother. So pregnancy symptoms for 31 weeks are Braxton Hick contractions. Now, I don't think that I've felt any Braxton Hicks lately um, and or leaky breasts. So I haven't had the symptoms that are normal for 31 weeks yet, but I might be getting some Braxton Hicks coming up within the next couple weeks. So we'll see and I'll let you know if that happens. So pregnancy checklist for this week. You can help um, set up to commemorate your belly. Like if you want to do belly pictures or any like videos. Uh, I haven't made many like pictures or um, like momentums for my stomach, my tummy during the pregnancy, but I'll let you see the baby bump and how it is progressed. Usually I wear dresses in my videos, but today I'm having a lazy day at home. So I'm in shorts and spaghetti strap, but you can see this is my second child. So the tummy has gotten pretty big. There's my belly button. You can see that like it protrudes a little bit right here. And I had my husband feel it the other night. I tried to explain to him. That's where the umbilical cord is inside my stomach. And it's connected right there. So that's our son and mommy connected. Um, that's all very exciting. I do feel really pregnant today. It's like, it's pretty hot. It's not as hot as it has been this summer. Um, but I'm still like sweating in our room. We have a crappy fan right behind me. Doesn't work very well. And <laughs> it just like collects dust, dust bunnies. It's not really doing the job. And we have no air conditioner in this room. Like the rest of the house is cooler than our bedroom right now. But I got the window open and I'm just trying to trying to breathe. Speaking of breathing, it feels and it has felt the past like week that I have a weight on my throat, like a little dummy, like curling weight. Um, just like a small one right there on my throat. Um, so it's getting a little harder to breathe like I'm breathing, but um, I definitely feel it that and in my chest So that's not fun. I did get a request from um, One of my subscribers and I got a highlighted comment today um, on my 30 week pregnancy video saying congratulations to my 10 week countdown and she said this is a shout out to Amy Briggs I'm so glad that you commented on my YouTube channel and um, anyone feel free to comment and I will reply to you and I'll give you shout outs so thank you Amy Amy says congrats on being at the 10 week countdown and could you answer any questions in your next video have you had any embarrassing TMI symptoms like lots of gas, farting during your pregnancy? So to just touch basis on that, I have had a lot of symptoms. Um, flagellation, it's not so much flagellation for me, but like gas, I am burping and belching a lot. Um, especially yesterday, I had some KFC I went to lunch with my husband and daughter on his lunch break and I thought some like good comfort food would make me feel better like mashed potatoes and corn. Unfortunately, um, as after that, I just like started belching and um, he went back to work. I took our daughter home and that's when I was feeling like a little emotionally drained and kind of bummed. I just laid in bed for a couple hours and I was like, non-stop burping and belching like I had a lot of gas and then after that um, about two hours later I had to go back to pick him up but right before I like went to pick him up from work I puked like a lot I just puked everything that I had for lunch 
went and got him from work, came home, and then puked again. So um, I've been very, like, nauseous, and usually I don't have the nausea, and I'm not puking until later in the night, between midnight to, like, four in the mornings, when I'm usually having my morning sickness. Um, but that was pretty earlier in the day. That was around 7 p.m., so a little earlier for that. Um, and maybe the KFC just didn't settle right. I don't know why it wouldn't, because, like, it was easier to swallow and everything, but also easier to spew up. Um, so, like, I have a lot of nausea, puking, gas with the burping and belching, mostly heartburn. My throat feels like it is on fire. And not only, like, this week and during, like, the third trimester, but, like, all of my trimesters, my throat has been on fire. And I feel like the heartburn really is, like, right in my esophagus. And um, it doesn't get any better, especially in these last couple months. I know it's not going to get any better um, until I have our baby. Um, and then along with the heartburn and the burning sensation in my throat is like constant drooling. I have like excessive saliva buildup and like, I'll just sit there with, um, like a rag. I got this drool rag because <laughs> it works a lot better than just like using a paper towel because it soaks up a lot better than Bounty. Let me tell you, you want to get like a cloth one. And you just sit there with it over your mouth or, like, drool into it. Um, yeah, it's very attractive. My husband last night was like, ew, and I'm like, what, you kiss me? And he's like, yeah, but I'm not drinking your spit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, yeah, sexy mama. Milf over here drooling into her drool rag. So, and it's not fun. Like, we can make fun of it, but it is not a fun thing when it's actually happening to you. And thankfully, during the day, it's much easier for me, and it's not until, like, nighttime, um, especially after I put our daughter to bed. I'm, like, just, I'm unable to sleep. I try to sleep and lay down with her every night, and then I just stay up, um, and he stays up at night, too, because he works all day. And he likes to have his relaxation time. So I'm always in and out of the room after reading time and putting her to bed. And I try to lay down for about an hour and then I'm up. So I wake up every hour to go to the bathroom and then go pester my husband. Um, in and out, in and out. Either like waking up with my throat burning, heartburn sensation, drooling, and or having to urinate, I pretty much pee, like, every hour, um, and it, during the night, or if it's, like, a four-night time, it could be, like, within every half an hour, so that's all fun and dandy. If this is your first pregnancy or you're looking forward to getting pregnant and just checking out, like, week-to-week -week vlogs, that's what you have to look forward to, so congratulations on your, um, your journey. This is my pregnancy journey at 31 weeks with my son, Henry. And, um, so what has been the highlight of your pregnancy so far is like a poll with baby center. The options were learning I was pregnant, listening to my baby's heartbeat for the first time, seeing the first ultrasound, finding out the baby's sex or other or not sure. So I asked my husband about this one and I said, for me, it was probably um, learning that I was pregnant because this was a planned pregnancy and we kept trying and trying and I kept taking the at home um, pregnancy tests and they were coming up negative and I was getting kind of like depressed about it, like bummed, like we keep trying and why is, why is it not working? But um, after a few months, we were able to get pregnant, and so I was very happy. 
to learn that I was pregnant. For him, it was finding out the baby sex because we already have a girl and he was like so happy that we're having a boy. And so now we have everything we want. We have our boy and our girl. So we're pretty much done having babies for now. We might have another child in the future, but um, nothing crazy. We don't want more than three kids, that's for sure. I was going to go to my um, birth control appointment tomorrow to decide what birth control I would like to have after I give birth. Um, I'm going to get the depot shot in my arm where I'll go and get the um, shot done every three months in my arm, the injection. And so that is has different consequences for every woman. It's different. Every woman has a different body, so um, the adverse reactions are different and the um, effects. It may like prolong your period longer, or it may end your menstrual cycle altogether, and then you'll just stop bleeding and having periods, which I'm totally fine with. Mm -hmm. um, and there's different things, like all birth controls say that it could have you gain weight, or um, different symptoms. So I'm not so worried about it. I've had the depo shot before and it didn't stop my period, but if it does this time, I'm totally fine with that. As well as that, um, I had to cancel that appointment for tomorrow because today I had car trouble and now this weekend we gotta get our vehicle fixed, unfortunately. So I was also gonna start the stress tests. Today is Wednesday. And I was going to start my stress tests on Friday to um, monitor our son's heartbeat. And um, so I just lay there for about an hour or longer. They have the little thingies on my tummy. And they just monitor his heartbeat the whole time. <laughs> and, um, but unfortunately, I had to cancel all of my doctor's appointments for the rest of the week. So, I'm going to get the car fixed this weekend, long story short, and then I'll be able to reschedule those appointments. I'll let you know how everything goes, and I will see you again at 32 weeks. So, this has been really exciting to let you know everything that's been going on, and commemorating my tummy, and our pregnancy during 31 weeks with our pregnancy with our son, Henry. So thank you again for watching. Please leave me any comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And I will also give out shout outs um, to anyone and answer your questions. So thank you again. This has been Honesty's channel and I will see you soon.